there's a, a, a pond right over here, a little pond, and uh, when there's not as much trees around, you can actually see a lot of that water, and I use the sun setting over here, looking through the trees, showing a little bit of that water. Uh, and then, you know, I, I will go, a lot of times I'll go maybe a mile that way or a mile this way, but I got this whole area is, really has a lot, lot to offer. What's my painting method, or what I want to show, is that I want to show reality. I'm a, I consider myself a realist, so I want people to look at my work and say, yeah, that's a scene from a, a, a water scene, maybe trees and whatever from a swamp. And that's, that's what I want to show. I do like color, but then there is something about when I'm up close, I want you to realize that this is a painting. I'm not trying to make an illusion that this is a photo or this is reality. I want you to say, this is a painting. And when you look up close at some of this stuff, you, you might even see some just blobs of paint, just a little blob or a drip. Let's see if I can, here's a nice little drip. I won a contest when I was three years old. I, I, my mother entered one of my, one of my drawings into a Casper the Friendly Ghost serial contest and I won a rocking horse. Uh, so I, at that moment I thought, wow, doing work and I get rocking horses, this is great. So. That was what I, when I started. I've always been interested in art though, all through school. And this one over here, you know, as I'm painting, I, I decided that this area was a little dark. I needed to break it up a little bit because it was just such a big, dark area going right through it. So as I was painting, a few drips came through, and I said, I'm going to leave that in there because it, it did exactly what I wanted to do. It broke up that area. As you get back and look at it, it just becomes something else in painting, something else in the environment. Really what I'm trying to convey is that nature is frail and fragile and fleeting. And that's why we titled a lot of these, for instance, Trees, June 24th, um, 555, because that image isn't here anymore. Like this image exists now because I captured it. If I went back to this spot, it looks totally different. And then today, it's a rainy day. It would look extremely different. I don't get to see them all like this. My studio is pretty small. So I see one painting. I take it off, put another one up, and I might be able to see the two of them. But I never see a room filled like this with every painting. So this is a real uh, treat for me to come in and just go, wow, they all do look good together like this. And um, just to see a whole room of your stuff, it's sort of, um, I don't know, I mean, I'm just like I'm bragging. I don't know, it's just, I, I like this. It's just, it's great. I started out as an illustrator, and I said, New York's where you want to be. This is, it was the capital of, uh, of, of the art world. A lot of publishing, a lot of advertising. So I said, this is where I want to make my career. This is where I had to be. So I came from Chicago, moved out here, and, and I love it out here. It's great. So there you go. Ha, ha, ha.